What did you discover about yourself in the kitchen? Were there things you had a better aptitude for than others? I do struggle with the chopping, with the fast really? chopping, yeah. And, I, and I'm really clumsy, so I will often burn or like nick or, you know. I, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, which one of you got more injuries on the job? I've got, you can't really see it, but it is there, I promise. You I, got, I got, you got, I got a couple of burns. Burn, yeah, some of the burns. And then uh, people cut themselves, they just did. Because we were working in a real kitchen. I mean, it was like a functioning, fully functioning kitchen. And you guys do your own knife work on camera, yes, yeah? yeah. There's no stunt chopping. No, in, in and the it's hot. I was on the fish station, it's boiling. It's like 120 it is, degrees. It, no, no joke, it really is 100 and over when you work in a, in a kitchen. And, and you're long, expected hard to have those like asbestos fingers you get chefs them. just use their hands all the time to test the temperature which to I, test everything yeah, yeah. so by the this end this finger had, is like... so dead at parties I bet people how long it can leave it in a flame oh really yeah, it's like I a bet. dead finger it's like a dead finger how long did you train mm. I trained for about a month with Marcus Waring who's a wow. two Michelin star chef who was amazing it was like amazing. the kind of thing it's like my idea of heaven to it have really that. is yeah. fascinating yeah. isn't it yeah, totally. especially when you're working with someone at that level there's so much that's interesting science about it, too. Yeah. It's not just great flavors and great food and yeah. all that. It's the kind of thing, like, if you were at an auction and that was, you know, you could bid on a Michelin star chef teaching you how to cook, you'd be, like, you'd be bidding. But and I got to do that for work, so I was very, very lucky. And what was he like in the kitchen? Was he an intense chef or was he a pretty loose guy? He's intense, and I really wanted the full experience of what it would have been like to be right. a sous chef. So I kind of immersed myself in it, and he therefore forgot that I wasn't really a chef. <laughs> and at one point, I remember I was basting with the burn was it? you know, yeah. I had my spoon and I was like this, and I was doing it, and he was like, it's not who came up behind me, it's like, it's not a shovel, it's not a shovel, it's not an effing shovel. <laughs> and I was like, yes, chef, yes, chef, yes, chef. You know, like, it was, and I kind of got a sense of what that's like to be in that environment, but, um, but I loved him.